Alright, what's going on, y'all? You know what time it is. That is right, with the new act, it is time to get some new recruits here. So, let's just get it popping right now. Recruit number one, 14. That is gonna be your show. So there we go. There's gonna be one of our guys. I hope there's no preference on this, really, because I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of adding names as they come here. So hopefully that's all right. And we're gonna have number eight. Number eight is gonna be MCP. So there's our two dudes. There's the two dudes taken care of. Now we gotta go 24 through looks like 34. Thank you guys for finally supplying some names on that, by the way, because man, I I didn't know what we were gonna do at first. I really didn't. And it looks like we're going to go 29, Estelle. So we're going to have Estelle. Maybe she can be the dancer. It sounds like a dancer name. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. And number 24, Regina George. And there it is. There is our new team. Let's just get right into it, though. All right. Welcome once again to Regina Estelle. MCP. Oh, y'all bow down to the MCP, man. And Yurcho, the ninja god himself. So... You kind of saw our setups here. I'm not really changing them too much. Now, interestingly enough, after you do Goal and Coal City, a bunch more propositions open up. Like, I'm not sure if it's specifically tied to doing Olan's map or what, but there are about three or four more of them to do, and I think that I had actually failed one at some point, so I got to redo that one. I wonder, I guess you could, like, intentionally fail the propositions so that you can infinitely grind them for JP because they do reappear if you didn't do a successful clear, but you still get a little bit of JP for uh, for even attempting it. Not even <laughs> close to being worth it in my opinion, but if you were really serious about it and you really wanted to keep your levels down, I guess that's something you could do. Now, with Regina, she actually has enough to buy damage split, but <laughs> because I kind of want to... I kind of want to mess around with this next boss a little bit because I remember having some really bad times with this dude. And he is a white mage. His entire group revolves around priests and revival and healing. So I thought it'd be fun to troll the hell out of him with Zombie 2 because that sounds like a hard counter to his team, no lie. Because I figure if I hit them with Zombie, then that basically takes them out of the fight, more or less. Or at least it forces them to cast it soon and things like that, which leads me to Estelle, the dancer. I also was able to buy her auto potion through uh, through some of the propositions because the dancer skills are very cheap, and I was able to buy three of them. I bought Witch Hunt, which damages MP of every enemy on the map. All of these are map attacks, by the way. Poka Poka, which uh, reduces physical attack by one every time it connects. It's a, it's a coin flip. It's just a straight coin flip. And Nameless Dance, which applies a random status effect uh, from this list here to every enemy. But it doesn't say frog, even though it can. I, I assure you that it can get frog. I've used it before, man. And that's the craziest part about it. So I guess that's either... Unless this is a different version. That would sure suck. But I know that in the one that I played, it could do frog as well. So keep that in mind. I guess we'll find out real quick. Either way, the rest of these are insanely good anyways, right? Slow, couple that with poison, confusion, man. They can be done. And not to mention silence, which is actually kind of good on this map. Because again, there's going to be lots of priests. Uh, MCP is doing more or less the same thing. Because I really, it's a really good idea to have somebody on dedicated support like that. And we do have spellcasters. We still have two spellcasters. And... Having somebody really tanky like this is very useful. Of course, he can start kicking some ass here now with his physical attacks. Because he's basically got Monk more or less mastered. If I wanted to, I could even give him the 108 gems. And I might do that because nobody else is really using it. Nobody else is really using it right now. And that would boost up his Earth Slash, too. To a pretty respectable amount, I want to say. So maybe that's what I do. And... Here's show the Ninja. And I taught them Shuriken and ball so they can now throw these and i i don't know if i said this in the last one or not but ninjas can throw items from your inventory to inflict damage that way uh balls and shuriken are special throw only items but you can also throw other weapons as well uh so you don't really want to throw like rare items and things like that obviously unless you know a good way to get more of them but it's really good range damage it happens instantly and the range is equal to your movement stat. So if you have a really high movement stat, 
then your area of control with that sort of thing is huge. Like, say I had seven movement, okay? Then I could effectively hit 14 tiles in any direction, which is crazy. Absolutely crazy. He's going to be in this class for a while because we got to build all the way up to this two swords. I want to say two swords and abandon are both very good. They're both very, very good. Evasion is very viable, let's say. It's a very viable setup to go for something like that. But other than that, though, oh, yeah, I actually remembered to get my damn ninja counter now. I don't know if I want steel on him. I do know that the boss has some stuff, but I don't have steel shield. And I swear that I swear that he has a really good shield. And that was the thing. That was the main draw for equipping steel. But I think he also might have a rare sword or something like that. So I guess we'll just we'll leave it for now. And if I really, really need it then so be it, but I'll still have three ways to revive in MCP, Estelle and my G. Although I'd much rather have, I'd much rather have Estelle stay dancing for the most part, obviously. Oh, and I also need to actually buy some stuff to uh, auto potion with, right? So the thing with auto potion is that it will use your lowest level potion first. So I'm gonna sell this potion and then buy a bunch of high potions because, oh no, they only sell expo, well that's even better, really. Yeah, I'll, I'll stock up on X potions there. I don't really need the money for anything else. Oh, well, they're they're cheap as hell too. I might as well just go all in at this point. No lie. Maybe buy some ethers too. Wow, these aren't nearly as expensive as I thought they were. No lie. All right, time to move on. Four story time. But just like other maps, uh, Mustadio's Goog Machine City specifically. After this cutscene, it's going to be a fight. So before you do this, you want to make sure that you can at least win the next battle. Because again, you will not be able to grind or anything like that. Oh, hey, what's up, bro? What's wrong? Why aren't you sitting? I was surprised to know you are in Lazalia. Almost here, too. See her before you go. Brother. What? Can you stop the war? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I like how he just so plainly states it too. That's that is kind of a ridiculous request. Just stop the war. Wow. Why has nobody thought of that before? <laughs> World peace was achieved on that day. What's the purpose? Beowulfs have fought to protect the people, not royalty. But now they're fighting for self-interest. You don't know anything. You don't understand, brother. The battle's someone's plot. Someone's using Lark and Goltana. Using? What are you talking about? I don't know much either. Dysodar tried to kidnap the princess to keep Goltana from the throne, but someone took the princess to Goltana. If she was killed then, Goltana would have been killed as a traitor. Dysodar planned the kidnapping. My G! You're saying your own brother came up with such a plot? Don't you know anything? You fool! Oh ho ho! He's getting heated. Don't you trust your flesh. Get out. Go back to Egros. Don't you believe me? How am I supposed to believe an irrelevant kid like you? I've cared about you being my half-brother, but after all, bad blood is bad blood. Not suitable for a bail. Ooh. Ouch. Your Excellency, I was told TG Sid broke through Tagula Pass. <sighs> Thank God it's Sid. What? I thought they were at Bethla. We'll have an assembly. Tell everyone to join. I'll be there too. Yes, sir. I don't know if you could take himself. But hey, that's Thunder God. Sid you're talking about. Not to be trifled with. So that is pretty harsh, though. Nobody's going to believe my G. And I can't really say that I blame them, though, either. Uh... Oh, here's a nice beginner's trap. So you can do propositions right now. But if you do that, you're going to be... <laughs> well, no, no, no. You, you can call them back, I guess. But still, that would be a bastard move to send everybody on propositions thinking you're safe. And then all of a sudden, here comes Elmo and his bullshit brigade. <laughs> all right, you can also buy some really sweet bows. Now, these are really good. Three magic and ten attack. The magic doesn't really do anything for the main precision skill set, but if you wanted to equip some kind of magic ability as your secondary slot, then you could do that pretty viably, because three magic is three magic, right? No matter how you look at it. And you could also do the magic gauntlets on top of that to get five magic total, even as a physical class like a marksman, you know? So that's pretty good. Looks like we can buy mental spears. Nothing really too special here, honestly. 
All right, let's see if we can't do this. God, the game is so mean about that. How would you know this? How would you know that? I guess that's part of the fun, though, right? Like, surprise, bitch! Time for a fight. Now, I'm pretty sure that my G is going to start where he starts. Pretty darn sure. We don't need a stealth to be anywhere near the front because, again, she has nothing but map attacks. My only fear here would be Urshel, I guess. And I think I gave some people feather boots because I know there's going to be monks as well. And if they are floating thanks to the feather boots, they will be immune to Earth Slash. Because you have to be on the ground for that to affect you. Which, I mean, duh, but... <laughs> At least it's, uh, at least they bothered to include a detail like that, right? As a little bit more depth, you know? My G, wait! Alma. You were going to leave without telling me. I hate goodbyes. Cool guy, Ramza. You won't be back, will you? No, we gotta go kill some demons, I'm afraid. Delita's alive. What? Delita helped kidnap the princess. What does all this mean? I thought he joined Goltana to get back at us. But he seems to be involved with some... But he seems to be involved more with someone else. Someone other than Delita saved the princess from being killed for some scheme. Is it true Dystarg was involved in the kidnapping? Yes. Now how does... How does my G know that? I... All right, because Delita told him, duh. I'm sure he had his reasons, but I don't know them. So Tita, is Tita? Yes. Don't you mean no? Alma, listen carefully. I guess is Tita alive was what she was going to... No, is Tita dead, I guess she was going to ask. Alma, listen carefully. I don't know who's behind Delita, but he's dangerous. Taking advantage of the war to achieve something vicious. Is Delita party to the plot? <laughs> Everybody's party to the plot. I don't know, man. He seemed to have his own ideas about these things, though. It's just such an awkward phrase. Party to the plot. You're fighting against them. Mm, yes. I'll go with you. Are you out of your mind? Of course not. No, of course, yes. Are you, ins are you insane, my G? She's broken. I want to prove what you're saying is true. She's broken out the game. No, no, no. That just wouldn't be fair. This is a difficulty mod after all. I don't want to see another Tita. Alma. My G Beov, aren't you? <sighs> this guy. I'm Zalmo Lasnada, heresy examiner. I order you to appear at a heresy hearing on a suspicion of murder and hearsay. You will follow us. Any resistance will force us to execute you immediately. Like you can. Heresy examiner. Run, brother. I won't let you. Get him. Kill the heretic. Mm, he's going to do his best. Now, these guys are quite bastards because like I say they they have revival on revival on revival every single one of those guys has revival down to the last which is why I'm hoping that zombie can get some stuff done for us here okay so we have 10 speed on you so maybe that was a little bit too much what are these guys looking like 8 speed well that's sprint shoes I saw yes it was oh we're gonna steal though oh he has Hamido this is a terrifying attack I think it's called first strike in like the in the newer Final Fantasy Tactics games, but basically, if you attack this guy from a tile that he can attack from, like let's say, if you attack this guy from within his physical attack range, okay, he'll just hit you first. Thankfully, because he's a monk, he only has a physical attack range of one, so I can kill him with the Whale Whisker, I guess, or like a magic attack or something like that. But bottom line, you do not want to use the attack command from within this guy's range. It works with all ranges, though. So if if you want to beat guns, you can equip a gun and use Hamido, and it will work. It's just that if you get attacked from a tile that you couldn't attack, if that makes sense, then it won't go off. Which is why I can attack this guy with like a pole or a spear, but I can't use a sword, for example. Uh, punch our precision, but he still has revive. And I do want to steal those sprint shoes because that's plus one speed, and we can't buy those yet. 
He has the earth clothes and the feather boots. If I could steal his armor. If I could steal his armor. I don't think I have it yet, though, unfortunately. But that would be good. Earth clothes are good because of that. They boost earth. Oh, no, he just has the paladin sword. That's not so good. Oh, the white robe is pretty sick, though. Look at that. Half fire, lightning, and ice. He's a Sagittarius, which means I think we're just, like, terrible compatibility with this guy. Right. Bad with Virgo. No, we're actually... We're okay. We're okay. But Zamo himself is no joke. We actually saw one of these guys, a, a holy priest that is in one of those random fights, I think. But they have some really crazy abilities. I think they even get M Barrier now. They get M Barrier, so that's pretty, pretty bad for us. Okay, we can kill you really easily despite your compatibility. Kelly over here. And all these guys have high faith, by the way. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they do. Which makes sense, right? They're with the church. Ooh, Jeremy just goes, that's move and jump, I think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has two swords. Oh, God, no, not two swords, monks. Help. Send help. Well. Who had the uh, feather shield? Oh, I didn't distribute them. That's on me. That would have been really nice here because, again, a lot of these guys are monks and can hit me with a slash from very far away. We'll just, we'll just run out here, I guess. I don't really need to ever go anywhere with... Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Please. Alma, do you have Reflect? Please tell me you have Reflect or something. Help me, Alma. <laughs> oh, no. How much MP does he have? Not a whole lot. I think I'm going to throw out a Witch Hunt, honestly. Because that will drain them. And they'll be forced to Chakra. Now, the first cast takes a little bit. But as you can see, it's going to go off twice in this same round. And then it's just going to it's gonna sap them real quick. So all I gotta do is sit right here, use the witch hunt. We have we have equip armor, we have auto potion, we have X potions. So she should be perfectly fine. Basically, no matter what. I think Alma's gonna save me, probably. If she can, I don't know. It just depends. Yep, looks like she can. And barrier must be faster than holy. So we're gonna catch that re-raise from her, which is good. But it does we're not gonna really be able to charge anything. Assuming that Zelmo's gonna get that holy first. Now, these guys can't really go for holies because... Oh, they have move MP up. Interesting, interesting. Well, they can't go for anything too big, though, because if they do, they're going to lose all their MP. We should knock them out of range for a holy with a single witch hunt. No, not a quick change. Come on, now. Might be able to... Hmm. Honestly, he can't do anything, can he? Because he's going to die immediately. So he's just going to wait and save CT. Alma thankfully got that clutch M barrier though. Because that's going to give us re-raise. So we don't lose an awful lot. I mean besides our life. <laughs> God damn you Zalmo. And he's staying really far away from me. Uh, in terms of like any big AOE stuff. Because Zombie has a huge AOE on it too. It could be very nice here. They're going to get this reflect off. Oh is Zombie reflectable? Is zombie too reflectable? That might put a damper on this. And I guess they're probably doing this because I have so many spellcasters, right? So if so, that's pretty smart on the AI's part. And that's not going to go away under any circumstances. I'm pretty sure that Reflect just stays. For at least for at least a good while. Here comes the Threaten. Oh man, that's not very good. But I can stick magic that away. Without too much problem here. I guess I should have moved then because... <sighs> They're throwing out Chakras right now, I guess. In an attempt to counteract the potential Witch Hunt here coming up. But honestly, my G can... Whoa, what's the... Chain Lightning, really? Why? Of course I don't get auto potion. Why would I? Uh, yeah, damn. I can't even really... We, we gotta move out. We gotta move out. But I, I was saying, though, when my G comes back, I can just whale whisker the hell out of that monk that got way too close. And then we can cure this right now. And I can't... The only really bad part about that was that I couldn't throw anything out. Because even though I'm gonna get cured right there, it doesn't really matter. I'm still don't act, if you know what I mean. So how well is this gonna be doing? In Witch Hunt, I don't think it miss. Tana Pop, that's actually pretty decent, because it's about to go off again. Let's see. 
I mean, I can hit him from behind. He doesn't have Hamido. Pisces to Capricorn is totally fine, so we can kill him. We can kill him instantly with my gene. What's your movement, buddy? You have five. Okay. Yeah, the perspective's a little bit weird. I think right here, though, right? Yeah, so we can move there. We can throw something his way. Let's go ahead and throw just a regular shuriken, I guess. No, no, no. We can do better than that, right? Yeah, that's a little better. Is he actually weak to anything? Because there are some pieces of equipment. Oh, I can steal another 108 gems. I want to do that really badly if I can. No lie. Those are so good, and we can't buy those for quite some time, as I recall. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's really weak to anything, but we can bring him down to half, basically. And he has damage split, so... This seems like a decent enough move. I mean, I'm going to be taking it, obviously, but 23 isn't really anything to write home about, I feel. Say goodbye to 10 more of your NP. All right, all right. <laughs> Get counter-teamed. That was my whole <laughs> that was my whole plan here. Just counter team the hell out of these guys. Because this battle can get obnoxious. Like I said, they have nothing but revival. Every single one of those guys potentially has revival. Now, this was not the guy with Amido, so we can drop him immediately. Thanks to the Whale Whisker. Goodbye. Shove that pole right up his ass, man. Now, nothing to really do here. I think we just hold tight on that. Zelmo Goodman. They're going to lose another 40 MP. Well, uh, they're going to have basically lost 40 MP total, right? Yeah, these white mages are looking bummy. They can't even go for a holy if they had wanted to. And she can just hang out right there, man. There's no reason to go anywhere with her. That's the beautiful part about the dance with hers. That's the beautiful part about the dancers, man. They just really need to stay alive, more or less. And if he wants to burn through his MP on full lives... Then, I mean, there's... <laughs> what can I say? That would be just fantastic. I really kind of wish my G would have... Oh, never mind. My G is a beast. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> that was sweet. In fairness, I'm pretty sure that poles have good, like, dodge rate, good weapon guard rate, or whatever. I think it's 20 or 30%. Plus whatever my G had on top of that. So almost probably going <laughs> to barrier him again, so he's never going to die, huh? Oh, what's she doing? I'm kind of curious, because she has, she has some really cool stuff. She's basically Ovelia, but even better, <laughs> in all honesty. So there's always that. And even in the original game, she was like that. She just buffed the hell out of her bro. And that was kind of her main thing. This guy is going to come back more likely than not, but... If we kill him in one hit the first time, it's not like that somehow changed. The only thing that really changed is that now that Zalmo has almost no MP. And it looks like he did connect. They keep throwing out carbuncles, but so what? So what? We have plenty of physical attacks as well. I guess the only thing that really is kind of annoying about that... Oh, no, they actually went on those guys. I wasn't paying too much attention, I'll be honest. Oh, she threw out a Rejuvenate. How nice of her. Yeah, she's really good. She's an amazing guest. One of the best. Easily. Easily. I said that about Olam too, I know, but I actually mean that about Alma. She's so good. Goodbye to more of your MP. Okay. I really don't think those priests can do a goddamn thing at this point, can they? Zalmo can hardly do anything, so it wouldn't be too surprising. Yeah, one more of those and they're basically done. Zalmo has a single holy... I should be able to move to... No, I can't. Hmm. Now, you only do have to defeat Zalmo. Oh, yes, I can. Never mind. And this guy didn't have any crazy evasion, did he? He most certainly did not. You know, I'd much rather kill him than deal with... Of course we're on worst compatibility... Man. <laughs> that blows, because I don't think we can kill him through that. We should be doing 40 times 2, which is no kill. That's no kill at all. This guy had equipped armor and Hamido, so that's like magic only, I guess. That's the only way we're doing anything with that. Oh, yeah, that's way better. Than okay, no wonder. No wonder. I thought the ninjas were better than that. <laughs> okay, okay, so we can't do a whole lot to him. Zalmo had what? Uh, barrier half MP. Oh, he has half MP. No wonder. No wonder it felt like he was 
not really losing that as fast as he should be. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit while it's gonna be a little while longer before he's done, but not too much, in all honesty. Can probably do it before he gets even a single spell here. I can't really do a whole lot. Well, I do have attack up, right? Well, I have attack up though. I can I can kill this guy then. Yeah, I have attack up. So I should do 45, right? 42. Oh. Oh, bad math. Okay, that's actually way worse. That's actually so much worse. That's kind of annoying, actually. It's one of those things about the knockback mechanic, man. If you have two swords, it's just like GG, because you can't really, can't really do anything with that, sadly. Justice. I deserve that. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I couldn't tell you. I just feel that I do. Well, if I survive this, I should counter him right to his face, if nothing else. And he is going to go for the boosted Earth Slash, but I don't get any reactions, because why would I? God damn it! God. <laughs> well, Kelly the Priest can literally do nothing, because if he charges a spell that doesn't go through, he's actually going to lose all of his MP first. There's no way that that goes first. No way. It actually does. What the hell? I guess the biggest question here is... Are these reflectable? I think that they're actually not. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, they are. What? Then why doesn't that say? Where's the little sign then? Because there's supposed to be a little arrow. Unless they're just immune to it, I guess. But that would be incredibly lame. It should say that. Because <laughs> when I go to Yin Yang, won't it say... Yeah, it says reflectable here. So these guys are just immune, I guess. Why? Oh, I do, I do remember that the game just cheats like that, though, sometimes. And that is honestly dumb as hell. That shouldn't be. There's no reason for these guys to be immune. Why? I should have just bought Flare, too, then. Well, so much for my idea. I thought I was going to be clever. Smack them with zombie. So that once they died, they would stay that way. But because of that, Regina's useless. She is wholly and completely useless. And of course they get all of their reactions. I was just doing that for the sake of putting him into range for your shoulder. Yeah, I gotta I gotta buy Flare too then, because like what else can I do? I didn't I didn't realize that I didn't realize that they were immune to basically everything important like that. Yes, yeah, so that's that's literally a wasted character. No, she's actually going to keep doing that because at least that part is kind of working out here. Of course, my G might bite it. Not quite. Not quite. So they're all out of MP now. Basically. Only way they can start throwing out spells again is to go for chakras on chakras on chakras. And I think this is what we want because you saw that some of those guys had summon magic and things like that, which is just really not what I'm about. <laughs> I'm not really trying to do that. No, thank you. Right, they all call Reflect. Every single one of them has Reflect, but it doesn't really matter like that. Now when we can start dropping some of these guys. I guess that depends on what Alma's going to do, right? Who's Goodman? That's Goodman. Yeah, this seems good enough, I guess. I, I didn't play around this guy very, very well at all, to be honest. That, that zombie thing, though, blows. That really blows. I thought for sure that that was going to be some sweet strat. <laughs> but no. No, 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 no. I'm not entirely sure what the reasoning for not allowing that is. Because I can't think of another battle where zombie would actually be good. Like, if there was going to be a battle to use zombie, it would be this one. Because, like I say, every single one of these guys has revival. So, if not now, when is zombie helpful? You know, I don't know. I feel like that's an oversight. I feel like they just did that without really thinking about it. They shouldn't be immune. 
but what can I say? And they are, they are immune. They have to be immune because either they're immune or the sage skills actually are reflectable and it just doesn't say that. Either way, there's some kind of oversight going on here. Alma is now going to probably buff me or heal me. I don't know. I don't know, but I guess she can get it off. Otherwise, she wouldn't have even gone for it. Uh, at this point, I, I wish I would have bought Wiznibus, though. Because then I could start murking some of the, uh, some of those low HP guys. I guess that was, yeah, I, I can switch up for that, I suppose. Because it's, it's the physical damage equivalent of a witch hunt, basically. Bring you back, I suppose. If only to give them somebody else to attack. I don't really need to nerf their MP anymore. They have none. Now, if I'm not worse with this guy, <laughs> I should be able to drop him. Yeah, there. We could kill him instantly. He has HP restore, but he's going to die, so... No MP. Awkward footing. All right, so... What, what is Elma doing anyways? Cure? That's fine. Who's Judd? Oh, Judd is the freaky Hamido guy, right? Like the crazy... No, that's Goodman. This is Judd. Not sure why, uh... <laughs> not sure why the old master over there has weapon guard. He's a monk. <laughs> yeah, that's a death right there. Goodbye. Best sister in the world, man. Best sister of all time. Oh my god, that's a really strong cure. Does she have... Oh, she does have good compatibility with him, though, huh? Oh, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> oh, man. I don't like how bottlenecked we are here, but it's fine. You can see the Elmo, the support queen, is keeping us alive, so it's not as though we're somehow really losing all that much. Uh, besides... Oh, no, they're just going to revive Chain, I guess. That's fine. That's better, if anything. Yeah. I guess my biggest issue right here should be the monks, though, right? Thankfully, they go for that. Out of all moves they could have made. So now he's in range for whatever I want, basically. We're no longer bottlenecks. Not like that, anyways. Can I nail him with a weight fist? I actually think he was smart and moved right out of range, huh? Maybe. Nope. We can pop him. We can pop him right here. With an Earth Slash, I mean. With nothing. He did move out of range. I thought it said Vertical 3, did it not? Oh, because I'm on 7. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Well. How embarrassing. What is he doing now? Can't even have that much MP left. Yeah, he's just going for a futile rejuvenate. And the turn order is looking like rejuvenate Goodman, who is nowhere near me. Santos. So if anything, we try to kill this guy because he's the one coming up soon. But then again, this is the guy that I can't actually kill. Hmm. Oh yeah, I mean, I could actually drain his MP if I wanted to. I also bought Spell Absorb on my G just because I was I was really trying to go all in on this kill their MP thing. Those monks are, I mean, they're a little bit annoying, but they're not dangerous like that, you know? I think this is our best bet, though, because we're going to actually be able to get a turn here. And what would have been really sweet, though, is if my ninja could have got in on that somehow. But it was not meant to be, sadly. Now, this guy is not actually in any way, shape, or form capable of... I mean, he can hit my two girls here, but that just wakes them up. So, like, you know. <laughs> but he's not hes not capable of being a threat, really. Not where I can see. Did he have damage split or what? No, he has barrier. I think he can have damage split sometimes, which is much nastier, obviously. Seven speed. Eight speed. Maybe we catch him. No.
Well, since Zamo here doesn't actually have damage split, I'm gonna start smacking him. Because I'm tired of this! <laughs> I think we'll get the boy. So we can do that, and then since his ability didn't go off, I'm pretty sure that my G can smack him down. But... <sighs> Man, I really wish they weren't immune to everything, because that, that was not what I wanted to do. I was actually gonna kill them all, because... I don't know, I just kind of think of it as almost a challenge in a way, because these guys, again, they are all set to res. They're all set to revive each other non-stop. So to just, like, get to, to, like, outplay it, I guess, for lack of a better word, because that's essentially what it would be at that point. Like, counter-teaming them. That was the whole idea, just counter-teaming this battle. But I couldn't really do that, because... <sighs> okay, so if anybody's confused by what's going on with that, there is a flag in the game, okay, that says... If this flag is checked for an enemy, make them immune to these statuses. And the, the list of statuses is like, I, I don't remember exactly what they are, but it's basically like the boss flag, right? Because you can't put, for example, death sentence on a boss, even in the original game. So for some reason, generic enemies have this occasionally, occasionally. And this, this group right here, I guess would be the first one to have that. I think you saw when I knocked some of those guys out, instead of a counter, there were stars above their heads. Uh, sort of like what happens with our guest characters. And it's the same, it's the same idea. It's the same idea, except they also get a lot of status immunities alongside it. And it, I don't like it because it limits your skill sets, or it, it limits your viable skill sets. Because it takes, it takes the possibility off the table to use status, more or less. And I can understand making some enemies immune to like the big status effects. Like if you wanted to have an like battles where enemies aren't able to be instantly killed or whatever, that would be one thing. But there's too many status effects that they're immune to and it's applied too uniformly. Which is what I have a problem with. Especially considering that there are items already that block these status effects. So if they were going to be immune to them, why why don't they have to play by the rules? They should have to equip the correct items. I feel. Opposing us is the same as blasphemy. It is not too late. Repent, and your life will be saved. Boy, what do I look like to you? Why am I a heretic? I haven't done anything. Don't be coy. You killed Draklau and took the Holy Stone to give it to a demon. You caught me. That's a false charge. It was an evil stone with vicious power, not like the legend. Further, the Cardinal became the legendary Lukavi with its evil power. You dare to hurt him too? Oh, for shame. You are a disgrace to the Bayal name. We'll see how you feel about that when I get my turn here with that whale whisker. <laughs> he should still be able to go for one last life, and he will. Which should be the last of his MP. This guy's gonna come back, but he was no threat to begin with, so... He's just going to keep trying to re-raise himself. Yeah, a lot of enemies have that combo. For some reason. But, I don't care, man. He can't do anything to me. Because he's just going to keep doing it, basically. Now, they might kill Yershul. But yeah, they probably will now, because Zalmo was going for the revive himself. So, I don't see why they wouldn't just do that, <laughs> you know. But, can I mid-charge him? Come on. Tell me that I'm up next. Tell me, oh please, oh please, tell me I'm up next. 100. Oh, I probably am. I really doubt that his spells go. Yeah, his spells not going through. He just, he just messed up. He just messed up so badly. <laughs> this guy can't kill my G. What? <laughs> Wait. Okay, man. So this is what happens when you catch somebody mid charge with the whale whisker. This is what happens. They get really, really hurt, and he's probably gonna run now. I imagine. And even if he's not, I can probably just Earth Slash him or something. Yep, good game. Once again, you only have to drop in into crit for this fight. Only have to drop him into crit for this fight. You heretics don't fear God. I'll fix you by running away like a bitch. <laughs> I guess they can all teleport. Hmm. Seems like the enemies <laughs> only tell us off when they're about to run away. I don't know. I kind of noticed that pattern a while ago with Gav Garion, but <laughs> doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. We get some good rewards for that, though. The Holy Mitre is pretty decent, as I recall. It's no Flash Hat. Flash Hats are sweet because they give you one speed and one magic, but... 
We'll be alright. I think the Holy Miter might be one or even two magic, though, and a lot of MP. So that should be good for... <sighs> should be good for Eola. Regina. But, man, that was really disappointing, though. They were immune to basically every status. Because I thought I was so slick. I thought I was so slick. Because if they were zombies, they couldn't even chakra. And I'm, I'm not sure if move HP up and stuff like that would actually hurt them as zombies. But, I don't know. I feel like that would have been a lot... A lot more interesting than what I actually ended up having to do, don't you think? Certainly more strategic. Oh wow, I just checked the video recording timer and that took way, way longer than I thought it would. Way longer than I thought it would. If only I had been able to pull off what I was trying to do, man. Because you saw that most of the length of that came from the fact that they were able to revive each other so easily. Huh? <sighs> When skill is not enough. <laughs> uh, just messing around. Are you alright? Yeah, so we're both okay. How'd the examiner find out about the Holy Stone? Maybe it was somebody behind the leader of the Glabados Church. But why would the church... Holy Stone? You mean the legendary Holy Stone? It really exists? Then maybe I've seen it. What? Where? Promise to take me with you? Yes, now come. But don't be a guest, though. Damn it, my G! <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. You'd be way too OP. We just got the whole new team. I'm not having you replace them. No, I won't take you. Okay, then I won't tell you. Come on, don't play games. You might get killed. It may be too late already, because you disobeyed him. By now, I'm probably a heretic, a fugitive just like you. Thysodark may desert me to protect the Baal name. Is what she should be saying. <laughs> He's capable of that. No, it's too dangerous. Explain it to Zelbeg and get permission from the church. I saw it at Orban Monastery. Yes, a crystal with the carved Virgo crest. Virgo. Before it passes to their hands. Thanks for telling me. Now go back to Zelbeg. Nope. How do you get into Orban? You're a heretic. You can't go into a monastery of Glabados. There's no way. Uh. <laughs> See, you do need me, don't you? Only as far as Orban, alright? Then you go back. Alright, pinky promise. Promise me. Haha, -ha, my fingers were crossed behind my back the whole time. Mm, yeah, that honestly just took too long. That took too long. So, sorry about that, but that's gonna have to do it for me. So, I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, Great. <laughs> Catch you guys next time. See you then. Peace.